Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We've been under the Sister Circle spotlight all week. My turn was yesterday, and now it's time to turn our attention to our beautiful sister, Miss Quad. Oh, Let's Lord. Take a look. <laughs> When I step out on the set every day, I'm hoping to give the audience laughter, joy, excitement. I want them to feel invigorated. It's like a school teacher, but she's sharp. <laughs> a school teacher. I can teach you better than I can tell you. My impact that I hope to have on viewers is that they know that no matter what they're faced with or what they're up against, that you'd never give up. It's Tenacious Tuesday. Oh, yeah. All right, we want you to be persistent and cling on to your goals. There has always been a, a voice within me that has always told me, no matter what I'm up against, that you got this. I think everything that I do, I, I thrust myself into it with passion. Uh, even if I make mistakes along the way, I don't allow the mistakes to deter me. I actually, you know, go, go, go harder. So I think uh, that's one of the reasons why I've been able to make so many things happen, even in the midst of things not going so well. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated has been in existence and still thriving and growing strong. An international organization. And I'm, I can now say that I'm a part of it. I'm very passionate about uh, what happens to us as a people. I'm very passionate about that. Um, and so for me, Sister Circle was perfect. It aligns with all of my principles. Absolutely. You know, to be able to inform, educate, inspire, motivate, and entertain, that's me. We love this country. We have poured into this country. Work and hard. we have continued to be ostracized by this country. So um, I always say, you know, it's not about uh, going through things, it's how you, you're conducting yourself in the midst of them. I always uh, have different avenues that can lead me to my ultimate goal, whatever that may be. Uh, do I get derailed sometimes? Yes. But I'm going through the process of getting a divorce from a, a physician. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, going into the marriage, I always understood the responsibility of a physician. In fact, I conditioned myself to say you will be number two mm -hmm. and his patients will be number one. Mm -hmm. While a divorce is definitely challenging, it's even more challenging being in a public eye and everybody has, you know, their opinions, you know, they're criticizing and blaming and being accusatory and judgmental. You have to find a point of silence and peace. I kind of always just draw on being resilient. I'm a natural fighter, natural fighter. And I have now been diagnosed with fibroids. <laughs> And um, on the ultrasound alone, they, they spotted seven. When I was going through, you know, my fibroid surgery, I had never even been stung by a bee before. Now you're telling me that I got to go with an anesthesiologist? Oh, and I don't, I don't like needles. I'm afraid of needles. But it, again, I needed to go through that because there were women who didn't know that they had options. And now I can present those options to them and guarantee you I have. I just want to encourage women to always pay close attention to your bodies. I did uh, go through a lot and, you know, kind of like in this, it's just like a barrage of things happen at one, one time. Uh, but in all of that, I think it stretched me. It stretched my, my strength. And I think um, for me, it was very important that I always gave the viewers the best part of me, no matter what I was going through. I always wanted to uh, still be that great energy, the positive energy that I always am. Come on. Come on, go. I'm getting it. That's I'm getting it. Yes, there it is. Come on, Rashawn. Show them how it's done. Show them how She stepped her game up. She even did antics hung on the rim. She gave you everything that, she could, that you could have in a performance. I'm from a city that's real. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. It's, it's a city of grit and hardworking people. Nothing is given to us, nothing. You know, if you live long enough, you're going to be faced with obstacles. Uh, that's a part of life. I think I just choose to always foresee myself in the successful outcome of things. My book is being released today! Yeah! Cooking with Miss Quad, that's my new cookbook. It came about really just on social media. It's a Thanksgiving version of Cooking with Miss Quad, and as you all know, I'm making my lobster mac and cheese. And you know, I was just giving the viewers or my followers a little bit more insight 
on how I do things away from the sets or studios. I just wanted them to be able to catch the vibe of it. And once they, once they did, they, they wanted more. You know, they were asking for more videos and then they were saying, oh, well, where can I go to get the recipe? And I'm like, well, the recipe is in my head and you can't go in there. You know, so uh, I was just like, okay then, we need to put something together that is tangible that we can give to the people. Those who don't know how to cook and those who do know how to cook. And that's how it all came about. Oh, yeah. that looks so good, Miss Quad. I know what I'm doing you now. You know she, the little bit. Mm -hmm. What makes Sister Circle different and, and such a standout is that we are real. This show is definitely a feel-good place. Every day you can come here and be loved on to give love and to be loved. Good, uh, but it's interesting that piece just it was a it was a reflection for me right you know you just go through life and you just get it done you know mm -hmm. and you don't really stop for a moment and say man I really won <laughs> right you did it though you win every day sis yes. we all do you're still winning yes, yes. I know I, <laughs> I gotta get out of here get me out of here <sighs> well you, you really say you know no matter what, you know, and I had some tough times. Yes, you know, yes, that, yeah. that last year was a doozy. I yeah, you. we was here. <laughs> yes, every day. My God, today. Man. But to, to go through those things and to come out, you know, just like a, a shiny new dime, you know, it's, it's just amazing, you know, and it, it's just a test of, if you believe and believe in yourself and believe in God, where God can take you. Right. And let's be clear, you know, we you, you talk lightly about things that you've gone through yeah. because you're strong. But the truth of the matter is, you went through a, a divorce on, on national Jesus. television, yeah. in the press and in the media, and had fibroid surgery yeah. on national television. I don't think people really understand how tumultuous that is. Is. Yeah. That is very taxing and very hard to go through. It was. And and I, let me just tell you, I have to commend you because you made you went through it and on this television screen you made it look easy. And that is hard to do. And that speaks to your character as a Thank woman. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you. Amazing job Thank for you. all of our sisters yes, here. This week. <laughs> Thank you, Sheree yes. Welton, our amazing producer and everybody who, made, who made this show Shere possible. Yeah. We love you. We'll be right back. Yes. Ooh, why y'all gonna take me out like that?